was all triggered really by a photo I found of a girl in a bath and uh, I liked it and I built a story around it. It actually started as a technical idea, mm -hmm. which was that you could, uh, in, a, in one shot, you could travel in a perfect loop and you could end up back where you started. And therefore it became a technical challenge, how do you do that? And how do you do that using mirrors? So, so when you watch the film, you see in the apartment uh, that we actually use the camera and we bounce around. We also digitally decode a reflection, which is, is obviously Blade Runner parallels, and that we travel through monitors and through technology. So if you like, it's a, it's a one-shot perfect loop, but that's achieved through uh, traveling through different forms of technology and different monitors. And it's essentially, it's people watching people. Or if you want to break it down, it's uh, a guy watching himself die. I wanted the characters to be reasonably anonymous. Uh, the character of the Watcher, uh, a surveillance guy, I wanted you to be able to imprint yourself on that character so you never see his face, all you see is the back of him. So essentially the audience can be him and they see through his eyes and they do, they become his eyes. So they follow this journey and they encounter characters who, they're not two dimensional, but, but you know, you're, or you're catching a, a snippets of life because that's all you can do. <laughs> Chinese to find some of them, or you might have to look very hard in the, in the periphery of shop to find them. But there's a, there's a lot of information there. If you if someone were to get, I mean, heaven forbid, I know no one will, but if they were to go through frame by frame, you would start to find some very interesting things buried within it. Uh, I think that's just good fun. I, I'm kind of my my own harshest critic, and I generally. Uh, I, you don't find me adoring what I make. But I have to say that with this, there's actually a lot of elements that I like. I like the overall design. I like the conceptual design to it. I like the kind of 30s kind of uh, future aspect. But I like the core idea. I like the idea that you come back on yourself and you go on this, this kind of very tight little journey. So it's been, it's been really good fun.